Greetings, beloved. This is poet educator Kamaya Lizette, representing for St. Lucia and the Voice for Piff all the way in London, UK. You are watching The Piff Connection on UCCN TV. Well, Hotel family, we are back. Like I said, this is we're doing a couple of segments for um, this for Piff Connection. So we have the lead actress of Vegas, and we're going to talk to Opal about her work. Um, she, this is not her first go around, okay? So she's done this before. And so, Opal, welcome to Piff Connection. Let's, uh, we had you sitting over there listening to Dr. Edway. You were, yeah, <laughs> she's the one I was pointing at over there when I was telling you before. <laughs> she, okay, so let's talk about Opal. Um, who is Opal? She's a woman of many dimensions. Okay. You know, I have a lot of dreams that I'm that. still working on. Cool, I like that. You know, I, I, a lot of what Dr. Lois said resonated with me because it's true. We don't give up our dreams very mm. easily. And you have a 19-year-old daughter. 19-year-old, a 22-year-old, and, and a 12-year-old. <laughs> so I'm a busy wow. mother. <laughs> yeah, you just, whoa. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> that <first> for her. <laughs> so okay, so you have three three children, and your and the beautiful thing, you like you said, you're still working on your dreams. Yes. Because your degree from college it does not reflect what you did in the movies. Nope. So that's so let's talk about that. So what made you? Just first, let's talk about what kind of degree did you get from school? I got a degree where I majored in sociology and I double minored in women's studies and psychology. Okay. So, with those three degrees, what made you want to be an actress or be in front of the camera? Because those three degrees will, will help you a lot behind the camera. Yes. So now we're talking about in front of the camera. What made you want to go from behind the camera to in front of the camera? To be honest, it was something that I had wanted to do a long time. Really? Yeah. When you say a long time, what do you mean by a long time? A long time, like two months, a long time, two years, years, three years? We're talking like... Before the children? Way before children. Wow. So, and your oldest is how old? 22. So that's like more than 22 years ago? Yes. Cool. And you still, you still pursued your dream? I did. I did. And it took courage because I was afraid. Mm -hmm. I was afraid of a lot of things like that I would learn about over the years behind mm -hmm. with the behind the scenes mm -hmm. industry and I was camera shy and actually doing a bit of I know I know the yeah. irony I know <laughs> but to be honest with you doing like I used to do local modeling okay. so when I first started to do the fashion shows for the designers that's what actually triggered the the removal of the shyness okay and it allowed me to feel comfortable mm -hmm. and then as you get older you know you start to feel comfortable in your skin a lot of people a yeah. lot of people, people yes so yeah you're right mm -hmm. and i grew to feel very comfortable in my skin so everything about me so I'm then you were comfortable enough to start to take a step in front of the camera yes cool 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 so is this your first movie no this isn't this is actually my fourth wow so What's different? How do you feel about yourself from the first now to the fourth? How, what's the growth factor? What was your, gro your growth in there? Learning to shed some more of the nervousness and mm. letting me come out into the character. Now, what was the nervousness from, from things you have heard or things you have experienced? It was more just things that I'd heard and a little of what I experienced. Like in this scene, I'm a married woman and I had to do I would call it a um, um, mildly moderate love scene, which is a first for me. Okay. So that's what a movie. Yeah, that <laughs> took a lot. That took yeah. a lot, and I'm actually mm -hmm. glad that we did it because it it helped, and I do see where I grew from that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you know a lot of people when you when you're not in the industry, people see these love scenes. They think that the camera makes it look really good, but in the love scenes, you have like five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten people in the room with you. You do. So, that, so now it's not like, <laughs> and so you're like. I'm going to love seeing all these people looking at me. So it's, yeah, th it's a different mindset it because is. they want you to see on camera. Because on camera, you don't see all the, the cameraman, the lights and this and that, the director. So you have a lot of people in the room with you when you're doing these love scenes. And, and so you have to be mindful, mindful of that and then try to focus on this one person you're doing the scene with. You're like, exactly. oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And I actually had to do the scene over. <laughs> yeah, you use it, yeah, because, you know, they had to get the right angle. No, you're telling, they're telling the story, so you usually have to get a different angle. The camera has to get different angles of you and stuff like that, and depending on what the love scene is. So, yeah, so it is, it, it, it is a, a growing factor. It is. Yeah. it is. Yeah, so, so you growed a lot with that. I did. I so did. So, did, did your kids see, did your children see the movie yet? 
No, they've only seen the trailer. Okay, okay. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, she's looking at it. She's like, oh, mom. <laughs> Her daughter is my camera, is, my, is doing my still photography right now. <laughs> so um, that's interesting. So let's talk about that. Um, you did, so now you did four films. What is your what is your goal for your next? What would you like to do in your next film? What kind of film you look? You can do a drama, action, thriller, ter horror. What kind of movie would you like to do next? To be honest, yes, just be. Hey. I would love to do. I have to. I'm getting my dream fulfilled right now as we speak because there's another project that we're working on and I get to play a Sierra Leonean. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah, so I'm happy about the fact that I get to play an African from a particular country. So I have one down, two more to go. My next two, I want to do a West Indian, and of course, I want to do my people, Jamaica. Wait, 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 wait. You're Jamaica? Yes, I'm oh, a Lord first my gen. Mercy. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy on my... What? You're Jamaica? <laughs> I, I heard, no, I heard you and your... Oh, that's right, but your first cousin. Yes. So that's what I mean. Just, yeah, yeah, okay. Yes, I'm what they call the foreign Jamaican or the Jamaican. See, her, her cousin is in her first cousin's in the room doing pictures for us, <laughs> and then so her daughter's here. So we have a little posse here in the room with us. That's cool. What part of Jamaica are you from? I was born here, so oh, like I said, here. yeah, so, so I'm so, a first so generation. What, so what's your what part, what part? My mother's from St. Andrew. Okay, St. And Andrew. Yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> hey, we, I'm from St. Lucia, so I'm big up. I always big up the island. Right, <laughs> my yeah. dad, he's a country funky, but... <laughs> <laughs> what part of the country are you from? My dad, he's actually Clarendon. Oh, Clarendon? Oh, oh yeah, you're from country. Yeah. Country boy. boy. Yeah, so we grew up, like, literally, like, we never left Jamaica. Callaloo in the backyard, mm -hmm. growing, cut it, we eat it. Sunday morning, then um, breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what part of the United States you grew up in Colorado in your backyard like that? Right in the district, right in Maryland, the metropolitan okay. area. Oh, so people in Maryland, the people in, Mar in, in, in Maryland, remember that Colorado used to see in the backyard that disappeared every like few days? That was her house. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that was us with yam and banana and everything, saltfish too. <laughs> oh God. Well, I should be living next to your house. That's some good food, boy. Good eating right there. Yes. Okay, cool. So, so we have a Jamaican first generation um, American here. So, for your daughter who's here and she's 19 and she's in college, what is the what would you like her to learn from what you're doing? Because you haven't given up on your dreams. You have three children. And you're still you're still pursuing many parts of your dream. What what do you, what would you like your daughter to learn from what you're doing right now? Piggy banking right off of what Dr. Lois said. Follow your dreams and. When you drop, you don't have to stay there. I've had many obstacles in my way. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we, in our culture, we, we are taught you keep moving. There's no timeline to any dream. You just have to keep mm -hmm. moving. As long as you have breath in your body, mm -hmm. that's another opportunity mm -hmm. to pursue your dream. Yeah, that's very true. I, I, I believe that 100% because, you know, there's a timeline on, on, this, on, on, on success. That means you might have three stops, you might have five stops, you might have seven stops. But as you, every stop you go, you go to, that means you're one stop, you're one step closer to the final, yeah, yeah. To, to the next step. Yeah, That's I true. believe that. I truly believe that. So, I thank you for taking this time to talk to us. So, how did you like this? Act that, tell us a little bit about the um, character you play in Vegas, because I saw, I saw, I, girl, I'm the. <laughs> She was mm. easy to relate to, to tell you the <laughs> truth. Mary was a very easy character to really? relate to, yes. The Jamaican you come out? That, that, part, wait, that, part, when, that part when he was on the floor, boy, I thought, <laughs> now I know why you were like, the head was going like this. But you had to see this movie, the head was going like this, and I, 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 oh, that it was It was that's very Jamaican. tempting. <laughs> I, I almost switched into parts when I had to remember, oh, that, you're in a kata. You have to remember, you're a first generation from African parents. <laughs> So I had to pull it back in. But I can relate to Mary. Hey, Nani, Nani, hey, some Jamaican, <laughs> the national hero. Nani exactly, hey. Nani of the Maroons, so, yes. Hey, yes. You call me, touch that spirit, boy. Nani, come out, boy. I'm <laughs> in trouble, boy. Cook yes, love everything. that Ashanti come <laughs> running out. <laughs> okay, so now the movie means something totally different to me now. I want to go back and watch it without saying, mm-hmm. So when you watch Vegas and you see them Piff, Africa, you see someone else, remember, Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, but you did a great job in the movie. I, I was watching it. I, I was I was pleasantly surprised and Thank pleased you. to see what now I've, now that I've met you, I, it, it it takes a totally different um you know angle for me. Thank you. To know I didn't know you were Jamaican and that you know and the Jamaicans out there, y'all one thing I know about one thing I know about Jamaicans growing up in New York City, 
um, the support they give their people on the island is just unbelievable. It's you true. know, it's true. So y'all need to make sure y'all support her and what she's doing because yeah. she's she has she this is her fourth movie. So y'all to find the next what what do you remember what's the next the other three you did? You know, where's it? Dynamic Range, um Patriots we did uh we're working on another one. I'm not sure exactly what the title is because to be honest with you, sometimes I get a script and the first thing I do is focus on what my character's roles are, mm -hmm. how am I going to bring bring it to life, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and what do I do to make it as natural and believable as possible. Mm -hmm. So let me ask you something. Um, for the young girls, and I did this Dr. Edway, um, for the young girls out there who, who want to pursue um, the act, acting, either in front of the camera or the film industry, either in front of the camera, behind the camera, you've been on both sides of the camera. Yes. What can you say? What can you say to them about the, the industry? Be yourself. Be true to yourself. Listen and learn. And don't be so quick to just be all about the fame. If you work on your craft, that will come. But focus on doing your job. I don't care if you get a one line or if you get a whole series. You make the best of it and you mm -hmm. do it to the best of your ability. And if you just keep your good work ethic, You'll pick up, you'll get noticed. The so right, God will bring the right people at the right time in so your life. So, now that you said, thank you for saying that. Do you have your IMDb page? I do. I have my Instagram page. Well, look, that's your camera right there. Give him your information. You all need to go on her IMDb page and check her IMDb page, her Instagram. How can people touch? Because there might be a director watching, like your look, and they want to talk to you. How would people get in touch with you? If my Instagram, check my Instagram, Opal J Official. And that's at Instagram. So if you want to find me, that's where you go. Yeah, that family. So this is what we do here at PIF, um, at the PIF Connection. What PIF is about, what UCCI is about, is, is connecting dots, connecting people. They might be a they might be a director. There's a lot of directors I know who might be looking for a first generation Jamaican. Jamaican. Yes, Jamaica. Who, who, <laughs> you still have the accent, right? Cho, oh so, yes, Cho, I spent a lot of time. Come on, let them boy. I can't speak the patois. Men are stop speak the patois. No degree, not now. Nah, make me change that. It's a part of me. It's who I am. Men are nah, left it. You see, <laughs> you see that? So she has the patois down. She has the American down. And she's ready to work. So y'all need to get... This is what I do. Y'all who know me for the years I've been in the industry, I connect dots. I love connecting dots. Here we have a sister who could do that, who could flip it, as you hear this flip it. So get in touch with her. This is PIF Africa 2021, and we thank you so much for coming up here from thank Maryland you. to be a part of this. Thank you for having me, everybody. Okay, so thank you so much. And we will see you guys next. We'll see you guys at the movies at PIF Africa 2021. God bless. I'm stronger. Let go. Oh. oh yes, you made it. As a brother, I'm so damn elated. Excited. For a long time, baby girl, you was degraded. Superwoman, but was never really appreciated. Self-confidence drowning, then your ego was deflated. But then you rose up from the fall, like never happened. You got your back up up against the wall.